Well, you know, we've done a good job of just going one day at a time, one practice at a time. Uh, if they need to rest their bodies, they do what they need to do. If they get into the training room, they need they do what they need to do. They pay attention and practice when we go over scouting reports. So, you know, for such a young team, they've done a nice job of just taking it one step at a time and not not really rushing things. Uh, there have been certain games where it's a pitching duel or other games where the bats really kind of explode. Uh, it, you talked a lot about battling last night, but, I mean, what do you kind of focus in, what do you hone in on when you guys go to practice today after a day uh, like yesterday to try to have those things kind of uh, move over to the weekend series? Well, I mean, today's going to be more of a repetition day, just swinging the bats, taking some ground balls. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about how well we battled with our bats. You know, when you when you have a team – and the hitters are battling, and the pitchers are attacking hitters. It seems to work well together, and uh, and we've been doing that. You know, our hitters have been battling, which gives our pitchers confidence to go out there and attack hitters, which then again gives our hitters confidence to go battle. So it just works hand in hand. Uh, this week, Megan Good named the National Player of the Week by USA Softball. She's picked up already a total of seven weekly awards, uh, Jalen Ford three and Alyssa Buttle another one. So your team's uh, getting recognition uh, from around leagues uh, and now nationally. Uh, your team is now nationally ranked. But your team doesn't really let that get to them. Um, I mean, how do you make them not be able to focus on, well, what is our ranking, what's our win streak, all these awards we're getting, and just kind of focus on them as a team? Well, again, it, that, that comes back to taking it one day at a time and not, not putting the, uh, the, the cart before the horse. Uh, you know, we, we talk about you're never as good as you think you are or other people think you are. You're never as bad as you think you are or other people think you are. Uh, well, all you have control over is, is now. You can't control yesterday. You can't control tomorrow. Uh, but you do have control over today. And as long as we stay focused like that, the wins and losses will take care of themselves. If we're sitting here thinking about, oh, we need to win this, we need to win that, we can't lose this, it usually doesn't work out very well. You don't have any control over those things. You think about a game, if each pitcher throws 100 pitches, that's 200 pitches in a game. Uh, th that, that's a lot of ball to worry about who's going to win and who's going to lose. But if you can narrow that down to each pitch and keep that focus, all you're trying to do is win more pitches than the other team. And then you give yourself an opportunity to win, but only an opportunity. Talk about being nationally ranked. It's only the second time in program history. You guys saw it at the after winning the CA title. You were ranked 25th as well. Uh, you know, what do you think this team has to do to continue to kind of rise up, get the respect, and and put themselves in a good position when we get uh, come May time? Well, you know, uh, again, it's good for our program. It is good for our program. It's. Uh, it's, uh, it's a nice pat on the back, uh, but we talk about that as well. Those are opinions. Those are opinion polls. And uh, we welcome the recognition, but we understand that, you know, the most important of our season lies ahead of us. So we just want to make sure we keep our focus. We talk about ignore the noise, you know, and what we mean by that is we have to – we have to stay focused within our group and within our, our team and appreciate the recognition, welcome the recognition, but also understand that we, we, have, we have a task at hand. Your team uh, ranked uh, highly in, in certain different areas, uh, specifically earned run average, only allowing 1.76 earned runs, and that was entering this week. That's 12th best in the country. So you guys are pitching with some of the best teams in the country right now. Uh, you, you know, you talk about how close this game is, how tight it is, and it could be just one bad pitch or one good pitch, the difference between winning and losing. But you guys are coming out on the winning end more than not. Uh, so just talk about the importance of this pitching staff, uh, you know, all three pitchers that you have going. So well, you know, I, I know that Megan and Jalen are getting a lot of the recognition. What people don't know is that we have a staff of five. And what keeps those two sharp is the entire staff. Uh, I truly feel that we have five kids on our staff, that uh, we can go out there and compete with anyone. And it's just at this point, 
you know, Megan and, and JJ have been consistent. Uh, what they are what are is what working for us. Uh, but if you come to practice today, you're going to see our other pitchers throw, and they're going to handle our batters. You know, we have a very good pitching staff, and they push each other. Um, you know, I don't know that you I don't know that you get this if you only have Megan and JJ, and you don't have Heather and Kelly and Jess pushing them. Uh, so you know, it, it is a staff. You may see one or two names in the paper and and the stats. But if you come to practice, you you completely understand. It's just like our position players. You know, we have kids playing really good ball uh, out on the field, hitting the ball, but they're being pushed by others. So they have to, and that's what you want in your program. You know, talk about some of the other positions, the field positions, and, and how those uh, those teammates push each other to get better. Because obviously you've, you've run pretty much just about the same rotation uh, in the field, but, you know, with the ones that might not just be the utility players, how are they pushing each other? on the practice days, on the game days? Well, I mean, you have to come to practice to really experience it and to understand it. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Maddie Moran at, at third base has made some spectacular plays, but she's being pushed every day. Uh, you got Tolly out in right field, uh, made a great play last night at the end of the game to, to end the game. It was a great play. But every day she has to go out there and compete with four other kids in the outfield, and she's going to be standing there and not knowing whether her name's read in the lineup. So, you know, it, it, every day is like that. And uh, I think at this point, you know, in the beginning they were, they were kind of nervous and worried about whether their name was going to be read and so forth and so on. But now I think it's kind of exciting for them, you know. Uh, and and, and they, they look forward to that lineup being read, uh, whether their name is called or isn't called. And when I'm looking for a pinch hitter, uh, like last night, it was awesome to turn around and look for a pinch hitter and I got four young ladies standing there with a bat in her hand, ready. And I'm like, all right, so who do I choose? Uh, I like that. This weekend, uh, you're back home to host the College of Charleston, team that was picked second in the league ahead of Hofstra. Uh, and uh, I know that you, you like a Hofstra, the Hofstra team as well. Uh, talk about preparing for these three games this weekend. Obviously, only one game at a time, but prepare, yeah. I should say preparing for the College of Charleston. Right. You know, today's going to be about us. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll we'll break open the scouting report and talk a little bit about Charleston. Um, you know we they're in conference. We played them last year. Uh, got a great head coach, very strong program. Uh, so you know we know we've got a test ahead of us. Uh, but again, it comes down to the old adage: you just take it one pitch at a time. You can't do anything else but one pitch at a time, and that's where our focus needs to be. And uh, just getting better the next two days, getting healthy, getting rested, getting stronger. Um, yeah. All right, Coach. Well, we appreciate the time. You can catch the JMU Coaches Show here with Head Coach Mickey Dean every week right here on JMUSports.com.